Hello friends, this is Sajid Latif Khan and you are watching my channel Learning for All and today we are going to learn about the past tense. Let's discuss about the past indefinite tense first. The past indefinite tense also known as simple past tense and is used to indicate a complete action task that happened at a specific point in time in the past. Time adverbials can also be used to show time of action or event. Let's have a look at affirmative or a positive sentence in past indefinite tense. Let's have a structure of past tense. First of all we use subject plus main verb or second form of the main verb and then we have object if any. For example, I played cricket yesterday. I saw a stranger in the street last night. I completed my assignments late at night. Ab in sentences mein humne verb ki second form use ki hai aur yahan pe time adverbial bhi dikhaya gaya hai ki time adverbial dikhane se aapko pata chal jayega ki kaun sa action kis waqt runuma hua. Like yesterday, last night and late at night. All these are time adverbials. Let's have a structure of negative sentences in past indefinite tense. First of all we use subject then auxiliary verb did plus not then we use main verb in the first form plus object. Let's have an example of it. I did not give him a gift last week. He did not buy a new car. We did not enjoy the party. آپ نے ان سینٹنسز میں دیکھا کہ جب ہم نیگٹیو سینٹنسز بناتے ہیں پاسٹ انڈیفنیٹ ٹینس میں تو وہاں پہ ہمیں ڈڈ کو یوز کرنا پڑتا ہے بیفور نوٹ ڈڈ نوٹ سبجیکٹ اور مین ورب کے درمیان میں یوز کیا جاتا ہے لیٹس ہیو اوک ایٹ انٹروگیٹیو سینٹنسز انٹروگیٹیو سینٹنسز میں سب سے پہلے ہم آگزلری ورب کو یوز کرتے ہیں جیسے کہ ہمارے پاس ڈڈ ہے پاسٹ انڈیفنیٹ ٹینس میں اس کے بعد ہم سبجیکٹ کو یوز کرتے ہیں اس کے بعد ہم مین ورب کو لے کے آتے ہیں اور ہمیشہ ورب کی فرسٹ فارم یوز ہوتی ہے کیونکہ ہم پہلے ڈڈ یوز کر چکے ہیں اس کے بعد ہم آبجیکٹ یوز کر سکتے ہیں اگر ہمیں اس کی ضرورت ہو یا سینٹنس میں یہ استعمال ہو رہا ہو لیٹس ہیو سم اگزامپلز آف انٹروگیٹیو سینٹنسز آف پاسٹ انڈیفینیٹ ٹینس فار اگزامپل ڈڈ ہی کال می Did he attend a lecture? Did he complete his homework? Now let's learn about the past continuous tense. The past continuous tense, also known as the past progressive tense, refers to a continuing action or state that was happening at some point in the past. Let's have the structure of past continuous tense. First of all, we bring subject in the beginning of the sentence then we use helping verb was were and then we use verb with the ing form and object if we need for example when the teacher entered the class the students were shouting she called me when i was driving اب یہاں اس ٹیبل کو ذرا غور سے سمجھیے کہ سب سے پہلے ہم نے سبجیکٹ یوز کرنا ہوتا ہے اس کے بعد واز ور اور یہ ہمارے پاس ہیلپنگ ورب کے طور پہ کام کرتے ہیں اس کے بعد ہم بیس فارم آف دا ورب یوز کرتے ہیں اور اس کے ساتھ آئی این جی کو ایڈ کر دیتے ہیں فار ایگزامپل دے ور سوئمنگ افرمیٹیو سینٹنس اگر ہم اس کا بنائیں تو سبجیکٹ آ جائے گا ہمارے پاس فار ایگزامپل شی اور ہمارے پاس آ جائے گا واز شی واز اینڈ دین وی آر گوئنگ ٹو یوز ورب ود آئی این جی فارم رائٹنگ شی واز رائٹنگ And how to make negative sentence of past continuous tense. First of all, we use subject, then was, and after that we use not with it, and then again verb with ing form. For example, she wasn't reading. Let's make an interrogative sentence. In interrogative sentences, we use was and were at the beginning of the sentence, then we use subject, and then we use verb with ing form. For example, was she reading? 
was she watching a movie was she dancing was she reading a book let's make interrogative negative sentences and interrogative negative sentences we use was then subject then not and then verb with ing form for example was she not reading was she not watching movie let's have some more example of affirmative negative and interrogative sentences of past continuous tense i was reading i was not reading was i reading you were reading you were not reading were you reading he was reading he wasn't reading was he reading we were reading we weren't reading were we reading they were reading they weren't reading were they reading and now let's talk about the past perfect tense the past perfect refers to a time earlier than before now it is used to make it clear that one event happened before another in the past but it does not matter which event is mentioned first the tense makes it clear which one happened first agar hum iske structure ko janne ki koshish kare to hamare paas is waqt hum present pe hain agar to hum near past bhi hai hamare paas aur far past bhi hai aur jab is action ki baat karte hain koi ek action pehle ho chuka hua hota hai when we talk about the past perfect tense by this we mean we go from past to further far past it means we have two past ab yahan par हमारे पास दो इवेंट हैं पहले इवेंट में मैं ये कहता हूँ द टीचर हैड ऑलरेडी लेफ्ट अब ये एक्शन पहले हो चुका हुआ है किस एक्शन से वेन आई इंटर द क्लास ये सेकंड एक्शन है और इवेंट बी है इससे कोई फ़र्क नहीं पड़ता कि आप अगर इवेंट ए को पहले लेके आए और बी को बाद में या बी को पहले लेके आए और ए वाले को बाद में सेंटेंस की नेचर पर कोई फ़र्क नहीं पड़ेगा फॉर एग्ज़ाम्पल When I entered the class, the teacher had already left. अब इस सिचुएशन में भी the teacher had already left action पहले हो चुका हुआ है और बाद में कौन सा एक्शन हुआ When I entered the class. Likewise, we have more examples. When he arrived, we had already watched the movie. अब हम इसको थोड़ा सा उल्टा करके देखते हैं We had already watched the movie when he arrived. आपने देखा होगा कि इवेंट्स को आगे पीछे करने से कोई ख़ास सेंटेंस की नेचर या मीनिंग्स पर फ़र्क नहीं पड़ेगा और सिचुएशंस सेम ही रहेंगी पास परफेक्ट टेंस बनाने के लिए बहुत ही सिंपल स्ट्रक्चर है हमारे पास हम सबसे पहले सब्जेक्ट को यूज़ करते हैं उसके बाद हैड को और फिर पास पार्टिसिपल और वर्ब की थर्ड फॉर्म को यूज़ करते हैं वी हैड नाट finished our lunch interrogative sentence had she attended a lecture humne yahan pe had ko shuru mein le aaye uske baad subject aur uske baad main verb past participle ke sath ya third form ke sath aur uske baad humne object ko use karna hota hai let's talk about the interrogative negative sentence interrogative negative sentence mein hum chahe to हैड नॉट को इकट्ठा लिख के उसके बाद सब्जेक्ट को यूज़ कर सकते हैं और उसके बाद हम वर्ब की थर्ड फॉर्म को यूज़ कर सकते हैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल हैडेंट यू मैट योर बॉस द पास्ट परफेक्ट कंटिन्यूस टेंस आइए इसकी डेफिनेशन को जानते हैं द पास परफेक्ट कंटिन्यूस टेंस आल्सो नोन एज द पास परफेक्ट प्रोग्रेसिव टेंस शोज दैट एन एक्शन दैट स्टार्ट इन द पास्ट कंटिन्यूड up until another time in the past the past perfect continuous tense is constructed using had been plus the verbs present participle the past perfect continuous tense is like the past perfect tense but it expresses longer action in the past before another action in the past for example when i reached there He had been waiting for me for four hours. I had been reading. You had been reading. You had been playing cricket. A negative sentence. She had not been cooking since morning. We had not been living there. 
Let's make interrogative sentences of past perfect continuous tense. Had you been waiting for me? Had they been playing for three hours? Let's make the contraction with past perfect continuous tense. For example, I had been will be changed into I'd been. I'd been. You had been will be you'd been. You'd been. He had been will be into he'd been. He'd been. She had been will be she'd been. She'd been. It had been into it'ent been. It'ent been. We had been into we'd been. We'd been. And they had been will be changed into they'd been. They'd been. And these contractions make the sentence fluent and speedy. By contraction, we can become a speedy speaker of English language. That's why we use contraction in a sentence. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for watching my this video. I hope you like it. If you like it, please don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to turn on the notification so that you can watch my upcoming latest and new videos. Thank you so much.